Most of you guys don't care about this sort of stuff, but I thought I would just provide an update on it regardless, right? I know most of you don't care, but I thought I'd report on it anyway. So, as most of you guys know, I watch No Jumper. No Jumper has had a little bit of a change in host over the last few years, or 18 months, sorry, because of a falling out a lot of the guys had, mainly with Adam22, some of it concerning interpersonal stuff, but essentially the crew and the clique that was sort of bringing No Jumper back up into prominence kind of went their separate ways, and essentially Adam22 had to kind of like redo the whole cast again. Now, one of the main reasons why that whole thing fell apart, in my opinion, having been a previous fan of the show and watching him all the time, I feel like, was primarily due to Adam22. He wouldn't admit it because he's very impervious to fucking accepting personal responsibility, but I think a lot of the blame lays on Adam22's feet. He just wasn't a good leader, manager, boss, because he always had an issue, it seems like, from the beginning, when his hosts that were on the show before, the ADs, the T-Rails, and all the other guys over there, he clearly had an issue that they were obviously creating a lot of drama around the the you know the channel and whatever it may be, and bringing all their personal, um, interpersonal problems onto the shows. And he was also not really too happy that they were pr kind of profiting and taking the content or the drama that was happening on No Jumper and then using it to launch their own channels, such as back on Fig, Fig Community World, um ace boy punch stream and and community right and, and loads of other things so he wasn't happy about that so i feel like adam in the beginning should have put on these big boy pants grown some balls and called it out and put an end to it either said it's okay to talk about or drew a line in the sand and said no more of that stuff you can't you know you can't basically do your own thing on the side it has to be under the umbrella of no jumper sort of thing so if you want to do your own thing bring it in house and we'll profit off of it or you can't do it he didn't do that, so things got out of hand to the point where they were fucking doing all this crazy shit, fighting amongst each other. They were airing each, airing each other out online. They were exposing each other. It got really toxic very quickly, of course, because the boss didn't step in. Then it got to a point where, unfortunately for Adam, one of the more lamer recent hosts on there, Lush One, who, as much as I like his hip-hop insights and shit, as a person, he's a bit of a dork, unfortunately. And he was the one who, in a way, played a big part in No Jumper's downfall. Because if I'm, mistake, if I'm remembering the story correctly, Lush won. Um, Adam22 had a conversation with Lush about one of the other hosts on their AD. And I personally don't think that's correct. I don't think as a boss, you should be speaking to other employees about employees that you don't like. That, I think, puts the employee in an odd position. It's also not a really good um, way to sort of address... It's, it's all not a really good way in terms of, like, dealing with the hierarchy and the respect factor when it comes to a job. And it's just a really unprofessional. You shouldn't be talking to other employees. You should maybe talk to people in management, the same as you, who are on the same level about the issues. But you shouldn't be going to an employee and saying, oh, I don't like so-and-so. He did that. Um, Lush One's got a big mouth. He couldn't keep that to himself. He gets on Discord and exposes it um, to a group of people that he thinks are his friends and they're going to keep it secret. They don't because it's hot news. They put it out there. And even though the news wasn't that bad, because I think Adam22, he spoke really badly or didn't speak too glowingly about AD's performance. I think all of us No Jumper fans could agree. AD wasn't really performing as well as he was in the past, maybe because of his outside sort of like interest or sort of gaining traction. Well, who knows what the issue was? He didn't say nothing technically too bad, but the fact that it came out the way it came out, it didn't make Adam look good. AD obviously was justified to be angry. And Adam22, who's un unwilling to accept personal responsibility, made it probably a lot worse because he didn't apologize or seem that really sorry about it. It plays out how it plays out. Everybody leaves. Cool. For some reason, Adam22 has a real stick up his ass about Lush. And it seems like he still hasn't got over the fact that Lush played a big role in bringing down No Jumper and getting all those guys to kind of leave. And now he's been having to scrape the bottom of the barrel with his current cast at the moment, who's not really putting up any numbers, numbers like that, like the previous guys, or they're not really, no, forget numbers. The shows just aren't as good. Obviously, they've got Sharp, who I'm a big fan of. Um, Flacco is very interesting and engaging and funny and good at content, even though, you know, he chats shit. He's obviously good at what he does, but the other guys, they aren't really a match to the other team that were there. It just is what it is. So Adam22 still has a lot of animosity against Lush, which is interesting. So Adam22, out of nowhere, all this stuff happens. Out of nowhere, Adam22 decides, you know what? I'm going to get back at Lush.
I'm going to get back at this guy and expose him once again. So he decides to get on his social media and for some reason just start airing out Lush again. He's not on the show anymore. He's left. He's doing other things. And all of a sudden, Adam 22 is now dunking on Lush. Look what Adam 22 said about Lush, allegedly. This is what he put out. Pick up the No Jumper Reddit for posting it too. So basically, let's just say that there was this guy, hypothetically. And his name was, oh, I don't know, Flush. His name is Flush. And um, he got a, a job like doing podcasts for this, this company. Let's call it the sit down. And so the sit down was like, you know, kind of a, it's not a huge operation or anything, but they, they had something going on. And so Flush is actually put in charge of like paying the electric bill. And, uh, you know, it should be easy enough. What is it, like a hundred bucks, a couple hundred bucks maybe? Uh, I don't know. I haven't paid that shit in a long time. But either way, instead of paying it, because he didn't have enough money to pay it, he faked a money order. He, and he showed them a fake money order so that they would believe that the electric bill was paid. <laughs> but it wasn't. And they found out because the lights went out for three weeks. Now, don't get me wrong. It's a funny story. Allegedly, Lush was in charge of, um, what's it called? I think it's called the drop down or the come up. I forgot what the show was called that he was in charge of for a while. He was in charge of paying the light bill. He didn't pay it. The lights got turned off. And now it's been, you know, maybe people are going around saying maybe Lush stole the money. I'm not sure how it works out when you're working the sort of things. Do the company give you a, a, a certain amount to pay the bill? Do you pay it out of your own pocket, then claim expenses? I don't know. But I guess the assumption here is that Lush doesn't have any money. Which is interesting because Lush's brother, if I'm not mistaken, is a big, high-flying executive. Lush comes from, you know, from a decent, well-to-do family. And somehow he gets himself in these weird positions. Who knows? Um, family dynamics are odd. Maybe, you know, his family have cut him off. I'm not really too sure. But either way, it seems like such an unnecessary thing to blast out to people. Because I'm sure this is something that he's discussed with people behind the scenes, right? Which is, is what it is. But to let the public know about this sort of stuff, it's like... What's that? What's that got to do with us? That's none of our business. It's it's a bit funny. I get it, but I don't really see why he wanted to share this information. He does share this information. It gets out there. Of course, people on the internet don't like Lush already, so they decide to kind of dunk on him. Lush is probably getting some crazy DMs from fans. We know Lush is addicted to social media. He can't avoid not saying stuff, so he decides to jump on social and kind of explain what happened. Right. And it doesn't really, you know, he doesn't really explain it, to be fair. But here's what he's trying to say, according to the Reddit. Let me put it up on you on the screen. Bear with me a second as I get it up on here. So Lush decides to jump on Reddit. Sorry, jump on his Instagram stories. And somebody posted um, what he actually said about the whole shebang. So let's get it on here and see if this works. So, uh, boom. I think it's this one. There we go. So Lush, is in response to Adam22. Hey, everyone. That's something the scammer would say, isn't it? Hey, everyone. <laughs> a scammer will say something like that. Someone like jacked money from you. Be like, who me? Hey everyone. <laughs> anyway, um, I hope y'all been well. I have not been very active on social media as I'm refocusing on physical, mental, spiritual health. Or oh, look at this. Go for the old mental health defense, right? Come on. Just say I didn't do it. Mind your business. Leave me alone. Just keep it moving. It's not a big deal. Anyway, he says. In addition to that family, friends, and uh, continued growth, and not only as a person, but with my various endeavors and passions. Haven't been podcasting because I've been rebranding, not to mention fo focus on GTX. Cool. Next uh, screenshot. I told y'all a while back, I ain't finna continue to perpetuate funk I had to, I had with certain people. I stood tall on that. I don't need any more stress or drama. No matter... Um, how much anyone else wants to hate and blatantly lie on me, that's on them. Another one. Yeah, that shit is cap though. And I got way more important things to focus on than trying to convince anyone otherwise might do a stream to catch y'all up with what's been going on later today. So Lush vehemently, aggressively calls cap on the allegations that he has not been paying the light bill at the come up that's what the show's called the come up um or pocketing the light bill money whatever to allegedly buy an eight ball allegedly who knows that's why they call him cocaine bot allegedly who knows he's denying all these allegations and saying it's cap so then adam 22 
who's just obsessed with drama, decides to get on social and he decides to say, you know what? Enough's enough. If you think I'm lying, if you think I'm lying, I'm going to put out the receipts. And here's Adam 22's response to Lush One saying that it's cap. Adam 22 is not having it. He's saying it once again. Here it goes. I heard somebody called me a liar. Well, if I'm a liar and you're going to go on live stream tonight and explain how I'm a liar, just keep in mind that I have screenshots of the exact people that you used to be employed by telling me the exact story that I put on my story last night. So if you want to call me a liar, that'd be amazing because do a whole stream, talk about how I'm a liar. Then I'll post the screenshots proving I'm not a liar. It'll be hilarious. It'll fucking credibility up even more. So, like I said, I don't know what's going on. I really don't. I'm not too sure if this is just an LA thing, if this is an Adam 22 thing, if this is a Lush thing, if this is them in combination. I don't get why this beef is still rumbling on. They had a falling out. Lush caused the breakup of the crew of No Jumper. It's gone where it's gone. What is happening? What is happening? Why? Why are they doing this to each other? Why can't they just let be bygones be bygones? My one theory is this. My one theory is this. Could this be a situation where, have you ever had in your life an occasion where you had an argument with somebody who's in your head, you think you're better than them. You think they're a dork. You think they're a loser. You think they're weak. You think they're this, you think they're that. But they get the, they get the fucking jump on you. They either insult you really well and everybody laughs. They maybe beat you up in a fight. They maybe are further along than you in their career. Something happens where there's a person that you think you're better than, but somehow they fucking get the jump on you. And it just, you can't let that shit go. It just sticks with you inside like, fuck. Or it's like when you imagine or when you bump into somebody you don't like, but you don't say the thing that you imagine you were going to say to them. And they maybe say something to you that kind of sits in your fucking, you know, cerebral cortex and you just can't let it go. I think that's what happened. I think Adam never respected um, Lush, kind of thought less of him. And then when Lush caused a breakup of no jumper, he was like, no fucking way did this guy who I paid a pittance, who was my lapdog, who I didn't respect, who was a loser, who was sucking up to me, was the one to cause the downfall of my company or partly, temporarily at the time. I think he just can't let it go. The fact that Lush, somebody he doesn't respect, played such a role in his kind of demise because he might deny it now but adam went through a little bit of a dark phase he wasn't posting on social he wasn't getting on fucking podcasts and shit he was really sad i wouldn't say he was depressed but he was kind of bummed out because those guys were also his friends adam doesn't really have a lot of friends either it looks like it seems like he just hangs around with his you know with his wife his porn friends and shit but he doesn't really have a big group of guy friends so for once he had a group of guy friends a lot of them were gang affiliated you know he gets you know he's a white guy so he gets a boner out of being next to niggas that throw up fucking gang signs and shit so he was loving that as soon as those guys left and he was just left with hanging around with mandingos and his wife suddenly he's like oh this ain't too good isn't it so i think that's what happened but he has to let it go in life sometimes the person who you that's why you should never um take anybody for well, not take them for granted that's why you should never underestimate anybody never underestimate anyone never think just because you are on paper more intelligent you are on paper more successful you might have a more stable relationship with your parents or with your friends that you are better than anybody you're not we all just get born in different circumstances we respond to the circumstances how we respond to them and we try to make the best out of the situation that we dealt with or the cards we dealt with that's all we have to do in life don't ever think you're better than anybody because you're definitely not right unless a person's redacted but i think because of that ego because of that cockiness the lust situation humbled him it humbled him and now he can't let it go it's still east where him he's probably in the shower as he is now looking like you know um lush might be sucking him off he's probably standing there thinking fuck man how did this dork how did this lamo how did this loser do this how did he lead to the fucking demise of everything that's happening how he just can't figure it out and i think he has to let it go and move on because these are two grown men one's approaching his 40s one's probably in his 40s with a family i don't get this beef it's tired it's dragged out leave it alone i get it 
you don't like Lush, Lush doesn't like you, or whatever it may be, and just move on. Please move on. But I have a feeling it's also what they do in LA, these content creators, they kind of create conflict out of nothing for like back and forth. So like he said already, um, why don't you prove I'm a liar? Then I can post my receipts that you're lying and then you credit. It's like, they love this. It's like, it's like wrestling. It's so weird. There's no real issues. It's all kind of, oh, rah, rah, rah. Like they're just creating drama. It's like, bros, can everybody just relax? Can everybody go and visit their families? Can everybody go and kick a ball in the park? Can you go and feed some ducks in a pond? Can you read a book? Can you watch a documentary? Do anything apart from engaging in this nonsense. Because in my opinion, call me dumb, but I don't think men on men drama is cute. It doesn't work on men. It just makes you look incredibly loserish. Women can do it and it's fine. The gays can do it and it's amazing. I love watching that shit. There's no better thing I love watching than a couple of gay guys squabbling. The way they have, the, the gift they have with words, amazing. Never pick a fight verbally with a gay guy, by the way. Even physically, because especially some gay guys are brought up in certain areas where they've been in, you know, they've confronted a lot of issues. They'll probably kick your ass. But I think men in general should avoid the dramatic social media reality TV show fake beef thing. It's so lame. It's so redacted. I nearly said the actual word, but it's so redacted, right, that it beggars belief. Please, look after your child, take your dog out for a walk, mind your business. If you don't like somebody, air out your grievances and leave it is. I think every man should have the opportunity to get in front of a camera on Instagram and say, fuck you for this, fuck you for that, and then leave it there. It's really uncouth to be on the social media like these goons online, like shouting at your ops. On 6-0, on 6-0, I'm a ride on you. I will spin the block on 6-0. Fuck you, fucking matter. On my mama, on my this. It's like, bro, tranquilo, calmate, whatever it is. <sighs> Take it easy. It's not that deep, okay? It's not that deep. But hey, what do I know? What do I know, okay? Bloody hell, man. It's so fucking loser. I'm like, what are you guys doing? Why are you all doing this stuff? Could you please leave it alone?